All right, boys, here we go. Kenworth, 900, DLC, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to take you right through uh, everything. I'm going to take you through the DLC, all the options that it has. Uh, but most of all, I want you guys to see what I built. I built a special one to show you guys, like all the options that we have. And then I built a super awesome one for myself. This is the one I'm driving right now. So, uh, without further ado, let me show you what it's all about. Stick around at the end and let's take a ride. Now, I, uh, I got a load of paper, I think, or something in the back. I'm going to take this uh, across Oklahoma, which is the new DLC. Stick around. Join me in the cab afterwards. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. So as we start building it, we see the cabin options are pretty much the standard options. But uh, as soon as we get past this portion, things get really saucy. There are so many things to choose from. So, yeah, of course, let's go with the 86 Studio Sleeper because that's the big guy. And then let's move on to chassis. Chassis is quite extensive. I might be mistaken, but a lot of the trucks do not get this option of a eight by four, eight by six. And of course I'm gonna go for the long big body boy. That's right. Uh, we're gonna go for an eight by six. Uh, of course with the full wheels in the, in the back. After that, we're going to move on to the engines, of course. I do have a lot of modded engines, but the standard ones that they have, of course, we're going to put in the most powerful one. And let's keep an 18-speed transmission. I mean, come on. Listen, we need to hear those uh, gears shifting. I like the interior. This is quite a lot of options, as you can see. A lot of colors. Uh, I love the quilting. And even the cloth on the seats is depicted really well. So super, super cool. I had no idea there were so many color options. On the exterior, if we move on, you know, you're going to get your regular colors. If you've bought any of the DLCs, the paint DLCs like I have, you'll get these uh, very custom looking paints, which come across really nice. Uh, and even some of the more saucy stuff like, um, you know, this all this detailed Western themed stuff. Quite a big fan of all of it. But, uh, you know, I always seem to land on the... Uh, the last ones which is the, the the super super classic ones with the, the cowboy theme the colors are appropriate the graphics are awesome uh, so this is pretty much where you'll catch me especially on the truck that's this this classic in nature all of these classic paint jobs stand out so well so here we go of course let's go with the final draw <clears throat> and now the big job starts starting with the bumper of course we want to go low and massive so uh you know my other preference is as many leds as we can fit on the better right so i'm going through all of it and i'm showing you all the bumper options there's quite a, a, an intensive amount of bumpers uh, all the way to roll pans which i didn't really prefer so you know i'm gonna go with the ranger it's super low ground scraping and it's got all these lights on it the grills again super amounts of grills i love it um uh, this being again a classic truck i'm definitely going to stick with lots of chrome so even the badging right the front logo you have so many options from chrome to painted to classic uh i'll be honest with you when i look at this it's, they're all kind of similar and especially at the scale that we're looking at but again these are available in real life so they're making it available in this dlc moving on to the bug deflector because I make videos for YouTube, I do prefer a bug deflector that is actually see-through. The reason is I just get to see more out my window, and therefore you guys see more out my window. So let's pick a little ornament. I uh, wish the, <laughs> the horns were a little bit bigger. And the side mirrors. Please remember this has a single rear view uh, side mirror, so these would be quite helpful. I don't like them because they do take a draw on my graphics card to, to showcase so many mirrors. And now let's put the details. So fender flares <clears throat> and side logo. This is what I meant about the intensive amount of, uh, of detail that's available. 
you know even the hood has accessories and you can see down at the bottom by the wheel these all these chrome plates they look super super cool so pick your poison and go with it air filters of course these babies always stand out i need something that's extremely chromed out and has a lot of lights on it so of course we're going to go with the thunder that's got lights on the front and the back we're going to get a, a filter cover made out of chrome more shiny mo better right And moving on to the sun visor. I personally don't prefer sun visors because they do block the view. It looks really cool when you're playing, but when I make videos, you guys don't get to see anything. So the more light, the better. Therefore, even the roof window is, is an option that I would choose. Uh, from here on, we move on to the cabin lights. Cabin lights are, as, as everyone can relate, the uh, bane of modding existence because you got to sit there and click every single one of them. So... Let's give uh, your ears a break. I will shut up for a moment as you watch me populate every single one of these LEDs. All right, now we move on to the cabin deflectors. Uh, you got to be careful. If you want to do the roof deflector, there you go. It, it requires a cabin change, so then I stick with the standard wing. Uh, I do like to add the side deflectors. It makes the cabin look so much bigger. And you can see how many options they have here. LEDs, uh, painted, not painted, oval LEDs, regular LEDs. <clears throat> All sorts of options. Very, very cool. Now, exhaust. The bigger, the better when it comes to exhaust, right? And, of course, handrails. Mo, mo chrome, mo better. And, as you can see, there's a little options there's all these little options for every single piece of trim like the door handles like uh, underneath the window you can add all this chrome so speaking of chrome moving on to the cab side panels we know that these trucks are highly decorated so you can see industrial painted painted with leds painted with small round leds and of course mo lights mo better right side panels side deflectors all of it doorsteps these are i thought this was super cool the amount of doorsteps that are available and as we move on the lamp bars down at the bottom just again more lights more better better tires and let's see let's move on to a big uh 300 gallon tank which you see took my steps away and it got me coming kind of confused you know this this is part of modding right you take one thing doesn't work with the other uh, but of course we need a 300 gallon tank and of course we need LEDs on it. I was able to match the back steps again and now onto the rear fenders. And I thought this really stood out on this mod. These rear fenders are gorgeous. Like look, look at the way they just cover everything. It makes it look super modern, super flush. But of course we got to add that last third wheel to match. Cabin rear. At first, I started looking for all of them. Well, again, the more lights, the better. But the next thing I know, I moved on to headache racks. And I found this super flush cabinet, which, of course, we had to have. And if it was flush, then even the chassis cover had to be flush. So we went for the threaded plate insert. Super, super clean. I love it. Bumpers. As you can see, I'm showing you all the options. Ooh, I get stuck here when I see all those uh, LEDs. But then I move on just to show you what, what else is available. There's a couple bumpers that look very show car, uh, show truck, and I wasn't really cool with it. But anyways, I, I went with this more basic setup because of the amount of lights that are available. And speaking of lights, I just remember that the front, even though this is a classic truck, you can change the headlights to LEDs. And that's what you see me doing here. There's an intense amount of options and therefore even more options after that so we went for some fender guards with leds just to match uh, and as you can see i'm i keep going around in circles trying to make sure i had all the leds <laughs> to make sure this thing was was super super shiny going down the road and finally one last touch up i, I didn't like my kenworth to be red i moved it to orange but yeah ladies and gentlemen this is it so yeah let's uh purchase it put it in one of our lonely garages and let's take a peek at what we made so to be clear what you see here is slightly different than what we made because i later went on 
and modified it. But again, because there's so many options, I got confused and I actually lost a couple of things. You can see I'm missing a couple of the LEDs around the steps. I actually do not have steps at the back behind the cab. But anyways, I think this came out a little bit cleaner than the one we were building. And this is the one I currently drive on Twitch and on YouTube. So if you've watched this far and you followed along, please uh, subscribe, give it a quick like and come see me on Twitch. We have a lot of fun and, and you know, lots of good music, good chat, and of course, lots and lots of dr driving. For now, let's take a moment and enjoy this beauty. I like this thing so much. Actually, uh, I was sitting here just taking snapshots of it until the night came in the game. With that said, let's get rolling. Let's take uh, continue our, our task here that we're at. And uh, like I said, if you want to keep watching and see what this channel is all about, here's a little example of what I do and how I play this game. Uh, my whole goal is to get you as immersed as possible, to get you confused, to have you asking questions like what is this guy actually doing here what's real and what's not so again join me on twitch live or subscribe and follow on youtube for more for now i'll let you enjoy i love you all see you soon All right, boys, here we are. I hope you guys can build uh, your favorite little version of this truck. I think it's an amazing truck. You're gonna see me driving this a lot more often. You're gonna see this on uh, YouTube. You're gonna see it on Twitch. Me and Uno are going to put some miles on this baby boy. So, yep, highly recommend this. Come on, it's worth the price. Stop it, it's $2.99, $3.99. Okay, wait a month, maybe it's $1.99, but uh, why wait? Go get it. You know what I'm talking about? Go get it. So let's uh, drop this puppy up and call it a day. All right, boys. Remember, always parking brake on.
engine off and drop it off, boys. See you next time. Love you all.